Well, I can see great future for Pete's. It is a very, very awesome department with many, many very bright people. Any creative idea was welcomed. Everybody is focused on a vision, uh, despite challenges, obstacles, uh, difficulties in getting resources. And one of the big challenges really is to juggle all three areas of clinical excellence, uh, the demands of teaching, research. When we first started on, on our research, they think that being a guinea pig, being experimented on, is what a university department does. The government realised very well that research is a step to the future. You cannot stop doing research, otherwise you go backwards. The culture has been better, uh, has improved a lot, the understanding is a lot more as well. We need to probably do more like, you know, advocating for some of our patients, some of the, you know, medications that they are taking and how, because that's changed. Internally, we have expanded a lot, but we are constrained by the, the, the space that uh, we have. I heard we are going to have like a bigger building for PEDS. Before I leave this department, I'm just waiting for the new medical centre. All aircon classless. <laughs> <laughs> all aircon, <laughs> yes. More equipment, um, you know, more space for them to play about. In the future, we can probably have an expansion of the ICU that would be good. Which means more nurses. <laughs> <laughs> we still need the tertiary care, which private practice has its limitations. It might be that you need to have more staff, so that every staff has more time to spend with the patients. I hope we can spend more time or more emphasis on forming the heart of the student. Because the culture during my time was we weren't ridiculed. I was never intimidated. In fact, I was inspired. So I think we should set that kind of standard also when we teach. The newer generation must be and should be better than the older generations. Otherwise, we never progress. We hope that uh, we could groom a, another a new batch or new generation of doctors who are good competent. Um, that we can go back to reading a profession that cares. Um, not about money, uh, but cares about caring for a patient, helping them and easing their suffering. Always do the right thing first and always put patient safety in their mind and to love their profession. Not like the Kung Fu master, the disciple cannot be better than the disciple. And then that's why Kung Fu now not, not so good anymore. <laughs> In the future when we are sick, the people whom we are going to rely on to look after ourselves will be the students that we teach today. After all the efforts put in, you know, it should never be um, tied to one person. It should always be um, a team because ultimately what we want to do is for the patient, right? Yeah. I think we have moved very far in that first 50 years. I can see a really a very promising next 50 years to come. 50 years is like Diamond Jubilee, is it? No. It's does, does it matter? As a department, we will soar like an eagle in the sky. You have been living without me for 40 years, and I regret that. Come on, Eng Mo. Yeah. Gelukkige verjaardag, afdeling Kindergeneeskunde and UH. Maligaya Karawan, Department of Pediatrics. Happy birthday, NUH Pediatrics. Happy birthday, 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 Happy birth